Hi, I'm Matt Venn. I'm here in Bristol Hackspace. Um, I do electronic engineering, open source hardware, software, that kind of thing. And today we've got the new Arduino Yun Mini to demo for you. So here it is, the new Arduino Yun Mini. So let's compare it with the previous model. The most obvious difference is it's half the size and it's also half the weight. Uh, so that makes it really perfect for your Internet of Things project that maybe needs to go up in a balloon or it needs to go in a small sealed box. It's missing the RJ45 wired Ethernet and the uh, USB host and the SD card. Those are all things that you can get as separate add-on modules. So if you don't need any of those things, this is the, the new, smaller, cut-down, lighter version. Um, and if later on you find you need them, you can always add them back on again. So this is the uh, messy side of Bristol Hackspace where members can make um, a lot of noise or make dust and we have equipment like this CNC mill here that require a bit of training before you can use it and we also want to know how long it's been used for. So I decided to do make a tool access controller utilising the Yun Mini um, using an RFID tag like this so that when you touch in or touch out you can turn on and off a tool but only if you're inducted and then uh, it logs your usage hours to a Google spreadsheet. So let's have a look at what's inside the box. Um, on the front panel, we've got um, an LCD and a rotary encoder on a button, and the RFID reader is just behind that panel there. And then we've got the um, Arduino Yun Mini right here with a beeper and an AM433 megahertz transmitter that transmits to plugs like this, and that's how the access is turned on and off to the different tools. If I use my RFID tag, I can choose which tools I've got access to. So I'll start the mill. That sends a signal to this box here. And now I can drive it. So to summarise my time with the Arduino Yun Mini, I liked having the power of Linux to be able to deal with talking to the cloud, having an encrypted connection to the Google spreadsheet. Um, but then it was really good to have the, the chip on from the Leonardo, the Atmel 32U4, running the um, SPI RFID reader and making the interface nice and snappy with the, uh, with the encoder. Um, so if you need a small combination of Linux and a microcontroller in a really small and light package, then you should check out the Arduino Yun Mini. Another handy use of the power controller is managing your uh, pinball addiction. 